You just wonder where the spark's going to come. I just think that players like Bickley around the ball, they've just got to, and Edwards, the tough players have got to just start to win more possession of the football. Edwards got it to Burton. Ineffective kick only as far as Cox. High ball back towards half forward. Rawlings from behind. Hart read it beautifully and took the mark. The veteran, Ben Hart, 260 games of football. The age of 28, still got plenty left in him. May not be that many 300 game players in the next few years, but you'd expect he'd be one of them. The ground level, Bickley flicks it out. Matna throws it on the boot. Inside 50. Hay leads Welsh to the ball. The pitch is on its end. Still alive for Laddams. Tries to turn Osborn inside out. Very clever kick. He trots to 35. Stabs at it and puts it through. It's a one-point ball game at the G. The Crows lead by 14 points at quarter time. They've trailed by seven points at half time after the Hawks with five goals in that second term. Scores are now level. Stone. Started his career at Collingwood. Still yet to make himself a name at Hawthorne. Kicks long, hugging the boundary line. Big fist back. Rusciuto. Those great hands. Just bullocks his way into trouble. And then out. And a great kick. A drop short has been marked by McGregor. Strong breeze behind his back. McGregor trots in, leans back. Right through the centre. Best game he's ever played for the Hawks. His previous best was 22 against Port Adelaide in round three. And Geelong, he also had 21 touches last year. Now, he's up to 24 and playing a blinder. Kick holds up in the breeze. Hart picks it off. Got a man in the centre of the ground, spots him now. He goes to Massey. He looks up, spears it inside 50 to Smart. Gutsy from Campbell Brown. War one for his team and he is down and out. Crawford explodes away. How inspirational if the Hawks could go from this and they're a chance. From 45 metres out, it's going, it's going, it's home. Two points the margin. Been a wonderful contest all afternoon. Two honest and committed sides giving it everything. Who will prevail? Bounce favours Everett into the path of Crawford. Chance for Reese to Smith. High ball to the 50. Beckley comes across, creates a contest, brings it to ground. Mitchell to Holland, to Crawford was brilliant. Releases Latson. Hawks are in front. It's going to be tough now for the Hawks. Yeah, every time there's been a loose ball, Adelaide's mopped it up in the last five minutes. Burton uses his leap to get it to Laddams. Inside 50, smart, juggles it. Good Cook kick. on high, set the umpire from Stone. McGregor picks it up. And snaps a goal. And it's going to be paid. Advantage goal. With that passage of play, you just had the feeling that the Crows were going to kick a goal because they had lifted. Chance now for the Hawks, centre square, tunnel ball out that time by Everett. Danger now, here comes McLeod, spears the ball in, Rusciuto's a target, so is McGregor. The skipper's got it. Clever kick to the front of the square, smart, had it lost at Welsh, quick hands, Tyson Edwards, quick snap, kicks a goal! Great play by the Crows. Just been a bit quiet in the last five minutes. He's got Matna picking him up. McLeod pulled off the ball. Speaking of the devil, Crawford gets it across. Vanderbilt hammers it home. So the margin back to two points. The Hawks come again. We've gone 18 minutes, just over seven remaining. And this game deserves a grandstand finish. Edwards to Matna. Great tackle from Pacioni, holding the ball. Pin the arm. Nothing Matna could do on that occasion. So Pacioni, 15th touch to Talis. Inside 50. 
Crawford, spectacular, couldn't quite get there. Edwards taken in a tackle by Holland. Crawford again, releases Tallis. Steps inside, misses Reese with a handball. Bigley to Tawny. He's taken down by Ladson. Tallis goes again. It comes to Reese. He snaps. He finds it back. The weight on it. Hawks are in front. Unbelievable. The blood they're talking to each other. Hawthorne chant goes around the ground as McLeod handles the ball back towards the centre square. Good tackle by Biglins on Osborne. Picked up by Cox, Simon Cox. Running with the flow of the ball is Mitchell, who's been supreme today to draw for their two best players. And they find Holland. What a kick. Let's watch the Hawthorne fans from behind the goals because if he kicks it, they will go up as one and the roar will tell the story. A margin 10 points. We've seen Adelaide turn it around with a couple of goals in a minute already this term. Smith, an important ball out of the middle. Still three minutes remaining. Here's Ladson. Handball to Tallis from 45 out. Just tucks it left. Gary Ayres in the Adelaide coach's box. Breathe again. The margin now 11 points. Two straight goals will win it for the Crows. They have it at full back. Three minutes remaining. There's Peter Schwab. Hawthorne have lost their last four. Thumping kick straight up the middle. Everett moves the body. Umpire said pay the mark. I think the big spider fancies his chances here. Can't lose either way, even if he runs the clock down. He's thinking. Just eat up a bit of time. Thump it long into attack. See if they can manufacture something. It goes to the goal square. Could float to the back. Free kick, advantage paid. It's coming to Hart. Just over two minutes remaining for the Crows. Crawford. Possession 31 for Shane Crawford. He and Sam Mitchell between them. 63 possessions this afternoon. They have been outstanding. What a dynamic duo for the Hawks to look forward to in the years to come. Throw in the likes of Luke Hodge into that mix as well. It's the makings. A pretty impressive and determined midfield as Crawford goes inside 50. Bassett with the fist. Mitchell tried to flip it out. Here's a chance for the Crows to break off half back through Massey. Must go long and direct. No one inside 50 at all for Adelaide. Was Burton held? It's picked off by that man Crawford. He was at half forward just a moment ago. A nest of Hawks on the other side. Graham can go forward to Holland. He snaps around his body. Cox, Dowdy will get to him and fist it to the line. Adelaide fans, filthy that Brent Burton didn't get a free kick moments ago. Well, I've got to say, I don't think they've had a great run from the umpires today, Adelaide. I, I can understand why they've, uh, well, they've got a few complaints, but what about Shane Crawford's last five minutes? Free kicks, 19-11. Biglins tries to get it out for Cloud to Tawny. Last roll of the dice time for Adelaide. Handball to Massey. They're away through the middle. It's one on one inside 50. Dixon's run it off the boot. Still alive for Smart. Burst through. Barlow, a goal saving tackle. It's still there for McGregor. And he kicks a goal. It's not over yet. The Hawks by five points. Can the Crows pinch it? Under a minute left. Everett. Won the tap, taken by Doughty, picked up by Big Spider and hammers the ball back inside 50. Rawlings couldn't quite make ground, thumped for that time by Perry, taken away by Crawford, gives it across to Petroni, he's only got to get a bounce to kick a goal. Somehow, it took an eternity. Shocking kick, chance now for Tawny. Was that a monumental mistake? Chance now for Doughty to bring the ball away. Running off the back flank. Massey hammers the ball back. Rusciuto looks dangerous. McGregor! McGregor has got it! 13 seconds left. He's kicking into the breeze. It's going to take a mighty kick by Ken McGregor. Will he be the hero? He's kicked three goals during this last quarter. From right on 50, they need a mark. And Simon time. The Hawks have won. The Hawks have won. 75 to the Adelaide Crows 10
1970, and that man on screen, Shane Crawford, has been magnificent today. The coaches' stocks have got to go up today, because if anyone says that Hawthorne didn't play with spirit, didn't play for the coach today, they weren't at the MCG because it was a committed Hawthorne side today, and they pulled off.